here with Bound for Adventure. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today we are at beautiful Music Meadows Ranch, a 3,800 acre working cattle ranch, home to Sangre's Best Grass Finished Beef and Music Meadows Guest Ranch. All right, guys, let's go meet Elon. So Elon's always up to something. Here she's working with the horse, preparing them for the summer rides through a philosophy of natural horsemanship. Natural horsemanship is the natural instincts and methods of communication with the understanding that horses don't learn through fear or pain, but rather from pressure and the release of pressure. So hi, Deb. It's so good hi, to see you, you again. See you. <laughs> so guys, here's Elin Perkagancho, and she is our dear friend, and Johnny and I both worked with her for, for a number of years. So you want to say Well, there is a few stories to tell around this ranch. It's been in our family since 1968 when my dad uh, found it and bought it straight away. Uh, he is, he's, we're all from Eastern Colorado, but I grew up in ranching. And basically, he was on the hunt all the time, all of his life for a beautiful ranch with running water and trees in it. And his growing up in Dodge City, Kansas, mom and dad both coming through the Dust Bowl, being some of the few that stayed after the Dust Bowl after the big exodus so they they really thought they found their shangri-la and so uh it's been in our family ever since and now i'm operating it so a lot of ranches nowadays are not using horses any longer but we maintain that horses are the single best way to handle cattle they're also the most enjoyable way to handle cattle but at the end of the day they're the way you get the job actually done and done well So a good solid horse is hard to come by and the only people who don't truly uh, appreciate a really top horse are the ones who've never had to make one. And you know we're not in the business here of making top show horses or top comp competition horses. We, what we are concerned with is a reliable partner out on the range that's not going to unload you or leave you high and dry or quit you and it takes a lot of training and work. So you see this wide open prairie and it probably looks to most of you like there's not a whole lot of grass out here. But this is called short grass prairie basically, upland high mountain valley upland and uh, <clears throat> understanding the uh, growth patterns of the grasses and the season and the basically learning all about the plant and what's best for the plant. That's the key to raising tremendous tasting grass finished beef. Sangre's best has this amazing flavor partly due to how we manage the grasses but also just what's intrinsic in this environment. I think our short growing season, High Mountain Valley, all contribute to that flavor. Sangre's Best is an idea that I had back in 1995 to get our great beef directly to you, the consumer, so that you can enjoy it every day. And that's our goal. everybody take a look at our uh, historic ranch house so this house goes back in our family to 1968 my dad bought it from the Beck family who had it since way back when and uh, we had to fix the house up a lot my mom was good at that and we all pitched in and uh, lots of family memories here We've left a lot of family memorabilia. Um, when you come here, you're gonna find it very, very welcoming, uh, warm and friendly, and uh, just it'll feel like home away from home for you, probably. The kitchen and the living room are actually the original log cabin built in 1914. And this beautiful hardwood floor 
my mom said was the only reason she didn't think about seriously setting a match to the place. So we, you know, restored the house and I'm so glad that we did. Um, it's just got an amazing history. And the three bedrooms were all added on, you know, at a later date. I'm not sure how, how much later. And the, it had a single bathroom. And, uh, and then in the 1990s, my mom laid awake one night and thought, gee, I think I'll make that closet into a second bathroom. And so uh, we now have two bathrooms in the house, hallelujah. Now this bunk room is literally a bunk room. I call it that because there's no direct line to a bathroom. So, you know, if 10 of you are staying in this house, you better be friends. Um, six, of, six people can all stay in this house and have good privacy. Um, but, uh, you know, this is a place for friends and family. We offer a four night, five day stay that has food options to suit you personally. If you want, you know, to prepare your own food, you enjoy that, we'll do that for you, have it there for you. Otherwise, if you don't want to see the kitchen, we'll do everything. This will be the most personal and private ranch type experience you could ever have. So now you get a view of that water and trees my dad was dreaming of. And uh, it is as beautiful as it looks. You just have to see it for yourself. There is not a single better way to end your day than around this fire pit, talking story. All right, so we've had a pretty wonderful day here at the ranch, which is just another one of thousands of them that I've had. And a lot of people wonder, you know, do you ever get tired of this? Or does this ever get old? And, you know, the answer is uh, no, it doesn't. You know, sometimes it's hard uh, if you have real long days and you get tired and things like that. Those days are kind of behind me. I, I was a younger me that, that had that. Kind of exhaustion was a good part of my life. But even with that, even with every hard thing, uh, this is still exactly where I want to be. And so I think that when you can find uh, what your passion is and what you what you're really made to do, like what you're able to do well and enjoy, and then you figure out how to make a living doing it, you know, that's where the sweet spot is. And getting there, you have to do a lot of things sometimes that aren't your sweet spot, aren't even, you're not even good at. But <clears throat> you know, you know your eyes on the prize and you do those things so you can, can enjoy that type of life. So that's, uh, that's what keeps it good for me. And, you know, I was born into this, so I was had the benefit of learning it from the ground up. But yeah, I just encourage you to lean into whatever your passions are and uh, if possible, try to figure out how to make a living at it. Thanks.